guys, ¿me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Sí me escuchan y me ven bien? Yes, yes. Ok, perdónenme. Les, les estaba queriendo encender el micrófono, pero no me dejaba. Y creo, no sé qué le pasó. Me estaba pidiendo autorización. No entendí por qué. Pero, ay, me desesperé. Pensé que, que, que no les iba a poder dar clase o algo. Pero no, ya lo hice. Ok. So, um, how are you? Um, sorry for for the um, uh, for that issue, <laughs> por ese 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 pequeño inconveniente. ¿Cómo están? How are you today? ¿Cómo les fue hoy? How are you? How do you feel? How are you doing? Um. I am a little tired teacher because I go to the work and in salí a las seis. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Oh my God, like uh, two hours ago, hace como dos horas. So you are tired because you were working all the day. Porque estuvo trabajando todo el día. It was a tired day, but it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's Friday, so uh, you're going to rest on the weekend, right? Do you rest on the weekend? It's, do you have uh, the weekend yeah. the weekend free? Yes, tomorrow I go to the work and in the morning is 9 a.m. In yeah, I finished uh -huh. to work. Yes, I finished to work to six of the of the night. Tomorrow two at six on night. Yes, in the night. Oh so my god. Mm -hmm. I go to the night AM and I finish to work six of the in the night. Oh, I understand. So that's why you are so tired. You need to work on Saturdays. Um. Oh my God, I couldn't work on my on on the weekend. I I I don't know, but I think um I really need to rest at least two days in the week. Um. So I understand why are you so tired. Entiendo por qué está tan tan cansado. I I'm a yeah. little bit tired too. Yeah. You Usually I go to the work in the in the weekend. So in the in the week is very un poco raro que voy a trabajar los días de semana. Ah, really? You don't work like on from Monday to Friday? What do you do? <laughs> Tell me what do you do? ¿Qué hace? ¿De qué trabaja? Can you hear me? No, you're not there. Andrew, guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me and see me? ¿Me ven y me escuchan? ¿Será que me perdí? Yes, teacher, solo que no. Porque no sé si usted perdió conexión o yo, pero no, no escuché casi lo último. I am so sorry. Sí, yo creo que, que yo me trabé. Es que me apareció la viñetita que me sale de notificaciones de que tengo el internet inestable. Entonces pensé que se había desconectado otra vez. Ya me iba a dar algo. But now, <laughs> le estaba preguntando, what do you do? <laughs> But where do you work? I am a playboy in playboy in the camera. In the camera? Yes, it's playboy. Sorry, playboy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I like <laughs> yes, I yeah, I I heard it that the first thing that you said and I was like, do you do what? <laughs> I know. Um I understand. Okay. <laughs> so that's why you need to work on 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 the weekend. I understand. Um supongo que se les llena más sus fines de semana. Of course, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um I'm a little bit tired too. Um I needed to do a lot of things today. Um it's raining so I needed to 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 Hi to to do the laundry. I needed to do the laundry, but it's raining, so I don't know. Um, if I'm gonna if the the clothes, of course, is gonna get dry. So um, I I'm a little bit um concerned about it, but <laughs> um, I needed to do a lot of things in my house today, and I was just thinking. Um, that I needed to do today because I I want to have my my weekend free, and I'm back on the on the classes again. So um, I understand I'm a little bit tired too, but I hope that you could rest yesterday and you can do it this weekend. And um, antes de comenzar la clase, solo les quiero recordar lo de la plataforma, no se les olvide. Creo que nos pusieron un mensajito por ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp que mañana se van a actualizar esta parte de, eh, de la plataforma. Entonces traten de trabajarla, no se les olvide que estamos en sección 1 y 2 en esta semana. Así que por favor, por favor, por favor, traten de terminar la plataforma para hoy en la noche lo más rápido que puedan. Porque recuerden que estos informes del avance en la plataforma son enviados a Insafor, así que necesito que trabajen en esa plataforma. Y ya saben que cualquier consulta pueden ponerla en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y, um, y siempre va a haber alguien ahí apoyándoles, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a comenzar. We were talking, well, we were um, looking a topic on Wednesday. Do you remember? What was the topic? What we uh what did we see on Wednesday? ¿Qué es lo que vimos? Do you remember? I don't remember in this moment. Don't remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, like try to think. Um no sé si vieron este esta serie se llamaba um, Jimmy Neutron, el niño genio. Y decía como, piensa, piensa, piensa. Y hasta se le salta una venita. So, think about it. Think, think, think. You need to remember. What did we um, see on, on Wednesday? Well, the entire, uh, well, yeah. The complete week, but um, on Wednesday, what did we see? Ay, perdón que estoy medio griposa. En toda la semana estaba griposa, pero ayer me puse peor. Cada vez que pienso que no puedo estar peor, sí me pongo peor. <laughs> so, do you remember? No? No one remember? Pasaron de noche el, el, el miércoles. No estaban aquí realmente. <laughs> okay, I can see that. We were talking about adjectives. If you remember adjectives, okay? Um, I I gave you some adjectives that you can use to um to talk. You can use to talk and to describe people. So I need to know if you have any questions about the adjectives that we saw. Um, it was some like pretty, serious, exhausted deep, sweet, brave, clever, if you remember, we saw it, lo vimos, lo vimos todos juntos el, el, el viernes, no, el miércoles, so do you have any questions about it? No. No, okay, perfect, so we're going to start with an speaking activity because you learned about it, okay, today we're going to describe ourselves okay so um 
Uh, this is going to be a speaking activity, and you can use the words that I gave you on Wednesday or whatever you want to say it to describe yourself. At least you need to tell me three things about yourself. For example, myself. This is my example. Um, I am a pretty girl. I am a pretty girl. I am 22, 23 years old. I uh, no me acostumbro a los 23. I am 23 years old. And um, my eyes are brown. And I oh I am I am a red hair. Um I am ginger. Do you know what is ginger? Do you know what ginger means? ¿Saben lo que significa ginger? No? No, teacher. Perdido. Gengibre. Gengibre. <laughs> o si es gengibre, tienen razón. <laughs> sí, sí es gengibre. Pero me estaba refiriendo a que soy pelirroja. Um, ah, ah. <laughs> Pero sí tiene razón, también es gengibre. <laughs> sí. uh -huh. Ginger is gengibre or pelirroja. Cuando eh, el pelo es como rojito. Bueno, mi pelo es como café. Café rojizo. So, that is ginger. So, um, I am ginger, right? Ginger is another adjective to describe myself. So, that's my example about myself. I am describing myself. Yo me estoy describiendo yo sola. So, you're going to do the same. So, who wants to be the first one? ¿Quién quiere ser el primero en describirse? Cuéntenme. Ustedes se conocen bien, ustedes solitos. Mm -hmm. No one. Okay, do you need any time to, to think about it? Quieren un, un momentito para pensar en esto? Yes, no. I can hear you. You there? Me teaching. Okay, Hector, do you want to, to start, okay? I, I, hello, my name is Hector Hernandez. Uh, I have 20, 32 years old. Um, I use the glasses. <laughs> my eyes is uh, brown and my hair is a little bit curly. <laughs> It's curly hair. Oh my God, that's great. Uh, remember that when we are talking about something that it's plural, we say are. We're talking about two eyes. We say my eyes are, porque son dos. Okay? Ah, okay, okay. Son dos, decimos are. Si digo mi ojo, ahí diría my eye is, porque es uno. Pero como hablo de los dos, so we can say are. Okay? Because okay. it's plural. Thank you, teacher. A pleasure to me. Thank you so much, Hector. Okay, we have brown eyes. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, who else want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Nice. Is there another volunteer to tell me a little bit about yourself? I, este ejercicio está bien fácil, es para hablar de nosotros mismos. I know you can do it. Tell me, who else? Héctor ya se ofreció como el primero. Miren que no me gusta escogerlos yo porque siento que a mí me daba nervios cuando me escogían. So, be volunteers and voluntarios. Remember that the Participation is important for the classes. Okay, Carlos, tell me. Hello. Hi. My name is my name is Carlos Quintanilla. I am twenty seven years old. Uh, 
my head is one for sixty three. Uh, uh, I have. Uh, That's it. Copiado, copiado. Ya <laughs> <laughs> Así lo escuché. Ok, don't worry, don't worry. Uh -huh. That's it. Ok, thank you so much, Carlos. Ok, great. So we know a little bit about Carlos today. Thank you. Ok, is there another volunteer? Una más, aunque sea una más. What happened today? You're a little bit shy. I know that you are exhausted, but remember, um, if we talk a lot, you're going to learn too much today, and you're not gonna feel the time. Yeah, you're gonna you're you're gonna feel like um it passed so fast, como que pasa bien rápido. But participate to do that. Participaciones. Don't don't forget. So. One Hello. more. Hi. Hi. My name is Dave. In I have is black hair. Uh -huh. In the tall I have time. I Chinese. Chinese eyes. <laughs> I um, love <laughs> yes the Chinese eyes. Oh, when you when you laugh. Uh, I can see your your Chinese eyes. Um, just like me. <laughs> um, <laughs> me río también se me pone mi yes. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Look at this, David and I. Uh, we have a Chinese eyes. We share. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, David. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So it was so great. Thank you so much for the people um who told me a little bit about yourself and i need to know if you have any questions about the adjectives that we were talking about on wednesday or how to introduce yourself do you have any questions how to introduce yourself como presentarse a sí mismo ustedes mismos do you have any questions about it hable ahora o calle para siempre no es mentira, siempre me pueden preguntar. <ríe> Díganme, ¿preguntas? No. No. Ok. So, um, we're going to link the past topic with this topic that is my name. What is in a name? So, we're going, uh, we're going to, um, do a little reading about this topic and I'm going to show you my screen. Les voy a mostrar mi screen y me avisan cuando la puedan ver. Ay. <laughs> Perdón, ando toda griposa. Can you see my screen now? ¿Sí ven mi pantalla? Guys. Yes. Yes, I want to see. Okay. So, as I was saying, this is what's in a name. ¿Qué hay en un nombre? Something like that. Um, when we are talking about ourselves, do you do you identify that uh, the first thing that we we um that we talk about is our name? Uh, when I when I introduced myself, I said, uh, I am Abigail Castellanos, and I am your teacher, and whatever the next things that I said. So, um, when you were introducing yourself. You uh, talked about your name 
first. Ustedes hablaron de su nombre primero. Cuando Héctor se presentó, él dijo, I am Héctor. Cuando David se presentó, él dijo, I am David. Cuando Carlos se presentó, he says, I am eh, Carlos. So, it's the first thing that we usually talk about when we introduce ourselves. So, we're going to see what's in a name. What's the important thing in a name? ¿Qué es lo que ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que hay en un nombre? ¿Por qué los nombres son importantes? So, for this, I need two volunteers to help me to read. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar a leer? Dos voluntarios. Raise your hand. Guys, volunteers. There is no volunteers. Should I pick okay, someone? Carlos, okay, Carlos, you're gonna be the first one, okay. You're gonna read from the beginning to this, um, when it says recent survey, y hay un puntito hasta allí. Y luego, otra personita que me quiere ayudar a leer el cuadrito y lo último. Uh -huh. Además de Carlos. Me too. Okay, perfect. So, Carlos is gonna read from the beginning, what's in a name, to survey. And then, Ka, and then Hector is gonna help me with this and this, okay? So we're going to start with Carlos, go. What's his name? Look back the name in the article. Do you know any people with this name? What are they like? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It's an important part of your identity. Right now, uh, two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular and why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or books, character or adjectives. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things to people you know, Agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a person person. Go, go it. Boys' names George, uh, Favorite, Boring, Jacob, Creative, Friendly, Michael, Good Looking, Athletic, Stanley. Nerdy Serious Girl's Name Betty Old Fashioned Average Emily Independent Advent Adventures Jane Plain Ordinary Nicole Beautiful Intelligent So why do your parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Berries out there thank you okay thank you so much guys for helping me to read this okay this is a little article so what's in a name and you can see there is that a list of names uh a popular names in united states yes yes united states but um we don't have the same popular names in in el salvador uh as the united states popular names so um you can see that there is boys names and girls names but we 
uh, have another typical names in El Salvador. Do you know any any typical names in El Salvador? Hagamos una lista nuestra. For boys, Oscar, José. José, ajá. Uh -huh. Carlos. Carlos, yes, Carlos. Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? Mm -hmm. For names, Maria. For girls, per so. for girls, Maria. <laughs> Maria is so popular. There is so many girls that I know um, that they uh, called Maria. <laughs> yeah, Maria is Yanina so. De Rios. Yes, of course. Like Maria, <laughs> of course. Okay. Sofia. Sofia, yeah, Sofia is pretty popular in El Salvador. What else? Mm -hmm. For example, Carlas, they are so popular too. With uh, K and with C, <laughs> Carlas, they are so popular. Um... um I don't know. Uh, ah, Nicole's, they are so popular too. Um, is there another one that you are thinking of? Francisco. Sorry? Francisco. Francisco. Francisco is popular too. Okay, thank you. And now uh, we're going to have a list for unpopular names. Nombres no tan populares. Do you think about, uh, do, do you, um, do you know someone? Something? Some name? Amy. What? For the... Amy. Amy. Yes. Amy, Amy. okay. Yes, it's an unpopular name in El Salvador. Amy. Okay, do you know uh, another one? Angel? Well, I think Angel can be a little bit popular. We're talking about unpopular, como las que casi no se escucha. Nathan. Nathan, yes, Nathan, it's not that popular. Okay. Ames. Ames. James. James. James, okay. Yes, like James in English, but uh, like pronunciating in Spanish. James, okay. Um, one of my sisters, um, it's called Adara. It can be an unpopular name. Unpopular name, yeah. <laughs> Un nombre no tan usual. Um, I have a cousin that it's called Alondra too. Do you ever heard about Alondra? Do you know someone that it's called Alondra? Yes. Yes. Okay. But there's not too many Alondras in the in, in El Salvador, right? Um, I only know one Alondra. <laughs> yeah. One. And it's my cousin. <laughs> so it's an unpopular name, Alondra. That it's a name for a bird, I think. Do you know any other unpopular name? No. Romina. Yes, that too. Okay, excellent. So as as we can see, um, the list change depending of the country, right? El, la lista cambia dependiendo de la, eh, del país del que estemos hablando. So, les voy a presentar de nuevo mi pantalla. Me avisan cuando la puedan ver. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, 
So um, you can see there is a checklist by the statements that are true or false from the article. Okay, so the first one, this is your name is part of your identity. What do you think? This is uh, false or true and why? Your name is part true. of your identity. True. Okay, why? Why is true? true? Do you think that your name is part of your identity? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, of course. Our names are part of our identity. Um, if you remember when we introduce ourselves, the first thing that we that the that, that, that we mention is our name. So it's part of our identity. Like I told you, I am Abigail, and you say Abigail, the first thing that you think about me when you think about me, valga la redundancia, is like my name. Yes, when you think about your teacher, you think about my name, my teacher, Abby. So it's part of our identity. It's parte de nuestra identidad. Okay, number two, it says, people often feel the same way about a particular name. What do you think? Is false or is true? Mm -hmm. Guys, you there? What do you think about the second statement? It's true or false? People often feel the same way about a particular name. Las personas usualmente se sienten de la misma forma con un nombre en específico. What do you think? Well, when you think, for example, about Marias, do you think that every Maria is the same thing? <laughs> they are like the same or it's different? Or every Jose, for example. Or every Carlos. What do you think? This is true or false? True, did he? True. <laughs> yeah. I think true. True, of course. Well, I can say 15 50. <laughs> I will say that about um my in my opinion, I think it's 50 and 50 because um I can identify um the same vibes with the people called with the same name as Marias, for example, or Melissa's, or Jose's, or Carlos, or Adrian, or something like that. But when I'm when when I met different people called by these names, I can see that there is some different uh, differences between these people. So I think it's fifty and fifty. <ríe> Yo siento que son 50, 50. Pero vamos a ponerle un check. Ok. The number three. This is boys' names are more popular than girls' names. What do you think about it? Do you think that boys' names are more popular? False. False. I think, I think it's the same. Yes. False. 50, 50. 50 and 50. I can say 50 and 50 too, but I think it's more false than true. Um I think it depends of the of the of the people, right? Como que depende de la cantidad de personas. Sí. So I don't think that there is more popular boys' names or girls' names. It's I think it's false. Okay, I think it's false. Okay, the number four, people are often named after family members, okay? Las personas usualmente son nombradas como otros familiares. What do you think? True or false? True. True. Is there someone who has um, a name um, that it belongs to someone, uh, someone else in your family? For example, I my first name is Beatriz, 
and that is my mom name and my 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 mom and she is Dalia Beatriz and I am Beatriz Abigail so uh Beatriz is from her so I am called as a family member me, estoy, me llamaron como una de mis familiares mi mamá so um is there someone else who has a name for an a member of your family, maybe your grandpa or your grandma or a cousin or a uncle, I don't know, or aunt, or grandfathers, or great grandfathers, or something. Hay alguien a quien le hayan puesto el nombre de alguno de sus familiares? In my case, my father is the same Hector. <laughs> He's Hector Hernandez too. Yes, my father is Hector Armando Hernandez Vega. Ah, okay. And you are Hector? Alexander Hernandez. Alexander. Okay, yes. the same Hector Hernandez. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Hector for, is called. For example, for example, my wife's name uh, uh, on my uh, my son this uh, Carlos. Ah, uh -huh. you're a. So, your son is called Carlos too, as you. Like yes, you. My son, yeah. Yeah, your name is Carlos. Ah, he is Carlos Quintanilla too. <laughs> yes, yes. I understand. Like, I am Beatriz Castellanos, like my mom. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, you can see that there is um so many people that uh they name after family members. Como que se nombraron por sus familiares, right? Or, or relatives, que son todos los personas con las que tenemos un vínculo sanguíneo. So, yes, it, it happens a lot. Okay. Um, and my my brother, he is Milton as my father. He is Milton too. They are both Milton Escobar. So, my first last name is Escobar. So, um. Uh, they have the same the same name as my mom and I. <laughs> yeah, um, igual que mi mamá yo. So there is a true statement. And the last one, opinions about names can change. What do you think about it? True. True? Why? Mm, for example, my sister don't like the second name, the Salvadora. Always the, she hey, say, I don't like this name, I want to change. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. There is so there is so many people who doesn't like um who don't like their names. Que no les gustan sus nombres. Uh, like, personally, I I am not a big fan of Beatriz, but um, it's part of my identity. So, I think I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Like, no, me, no es que lo ame, pero tampoco es que lo odie, creo. <laughs> I don't know. But there is some people that can change that um uh, that opinion about them themselves, okay? that it's that it's true okay so we can uh we can say that our name is identity okay our name is i is our identity so tell me do you know what your name means saben qué significa su nombre el de ustedes do you uh, well um todos los nombres tienen como algún significado porque descienden de palabras Sí, los nombres, como nos hemos llamado, incluso los, los last names, los apellidos, descienden de palabras, ¿sí? So, por ejemplo, en la Edad Media no se identificaban como por, por un nombre, por un, un apellido en específico, así que la gente les ponía eh, como ese apellido, como eh, la profesión que la persona ejercía. Por eso es que hay un montón de profesiones que son apellidos, no sé si alguna vez los han escuchado, pero hay un montón de, de apellidos que suenan como profesiones. So, um, there is a meaning behind the names. Do you know what your name means? For example, Abigail means happiness. Abigail means happiness. Abigail significa felicidad. 
So um, I really like it. I, I can identify myself in, in my name, happiness, because I am, I, I think I am a, um, a smiley girl. So you know, una niña que se ríe mucho. So um, I can identify myself in my name. Abigail means happiness. Do you know uh, what your name means? ¿Saben lo que significa su nombre? Who wants to tell me? Si no, vayan a googlearlo ahorita. Pregúntenle a Google. ¿Qué significa Carlos? ¿Qué significa Andrew? ¿Qué significa Héctor? And tell me. Mm -hmm. Who wants to tell me what your name means? Carlos? Mm -hmm. My name means uh, the free man. The free man. Okay. And do you identify with, with that? That meaning? ¿Se identifica con, con el significado de su nombre, Carlos? ¿Do you identify with that? Well, maybe. Maybe. 50-50. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. Okay, thank you so much. As you can see, Abigail is happiness and Carlos is um what free did man. you say? Free man, free man, free man. It just me el adjetivo. Free man. Okay, Abigail happiness, Carlos free man. Okay. Who else wants to tell me what um your name means? In Hector means have or possess. It, it means what? Sorry. Have or possess. Tener o poseer. Ah, okay. To have. Okay. Or to possess. Okay. Do you identify with your with, with the meaning of your name, Hector? I think mm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? You are not a positive person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's great. It's great. If you are not a positive person, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look at this. Abigail, happiness, Carlos Freeman, Hector to have or post. Poseer. And Carlos says that he's 15-50 and Hector says that he doesn't feel um, that he belongs to that meaning. So I understand. I can identify with my with mm, the meaning of my name, but they don't. And that's okay. So who else wants to tell me what's the meaning of your name? Mm -hmm. My name is Brian or Volunteer. Brilliant or Volunteer, okay. Brilliant. I like it. Do you do you identify with your name? Wilbur. Uh -huh. and, and do you think that um that you belong to that meaning? Siente que sí le pertenece el nombre. Is it significant? Yes. 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 Okay. Excellent. So as you can see, Wilbur and I, um, we both um uh, feel the same way with our names. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, Wilbur. Okay. Who else wants to tell me what your name means? No one else? There is no other volunteer to tell me what your name means? No? No more volunteers. Okay, so... 
We're going to have a speaking activity. This is describe people you know. Okay, vamos a describir a alguien que conocemos. So, at the beginning of the class, we describe ourselves. If you remember. Nosotros nos describimos solitos. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es elegir a una persona. Eh, it can be whoever you want to talk about. Your mom, your best friend, your son, your daughter, your grandma, your grandpa, a friend. Yeah, who, um, like um, whatever. It can be a people you choose, okay? It's free to choose. And you're going to describe it. You need to tell me at least five things of that person. Five things. Al menos cinco cosas de esa persona, okay? For example, my example. Uh, my sister, it's called Denise. She is a tall girl. She is 20, 20 years old. She is 20 years old. Um, she has, she has, um, brown eyes and brown hair and, um, she is curly, pretty curly, like, uh, su pelo es bien colocho. So, she's a curly girl, um, like, uh, I curious, um, uh, think about my, myself and my family. Um, all my siblings are corlys. Todos mis hermanos son colochos menos yo. <laughs> so, um, this is like un dato interesante. So, es, soy, soy la rara de la familia. Um, this is a little bit about my sister, right? So, you're gonna do the same. Choose someone, escojan a alguien, and describe that people. Y vamos a describir a esa persona. Para esto vamos a tener unos minutos para hacerlo, unos cinco minutitos, y luego lo compartimos. Do you have any questions about it? Preguntas de la pregunta, del ejercicio. No. Ok. So, empieza a contar el tiempo ahorita. Escojan a alguien y lo describen. Al menos cinco cositas de esa persona. Go, guys.
Okay, we are here again. Who wants to be the first volunteer? Guys. Hector? Me teacher, yes. Okay, tell me. I, I talking about my son. Aha, uh -huh. okay, he, tell me. He have, he, his name is Mateo. He have three years, three years old. And he's a very white and a very curly. He likes to jump on the bed. And he is a uh, left-handed and love the French fresh. Okay. Long lashes. Did you say long lashes? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Si quieres que me quedo escuchado bien. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Applause to Carlos. Thank you so much. It sounds so cool. I wish I had um, long lashes as your son. <laughs> okay, thank you, Carlos. Okay, who else wants to participate? Hola. Hi, Carlos. Uh, Hi. Wait. Uh -huh. Tell wait. me. Uh, I want to try to my son. Mm. Uh, the name is Carlos. Mm -hmm. He is very uh, energetic. His eyes are brown. Your head is 1.10. He is friendly. He is my happiness. Okay, thank you so much. Applause to you. Okay, thank you to talk to me about your son. Okay, that's great. You are doing fantastic. Um, this speaking activity was so easy, and um, it's like the same thing when we talk about ourselves. Um, like when we talk about the people we love, as your sons, as my sister, and um, uh, you learn how to describe these people. Okay, aprendimos cómo describir a las personas también. So, do you have any questions about the class or anything else that I can do to help you? No? That's it. Okay. So, if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you on Monday. Don't forget it. And don't forget the platform, okay? No olviden la plataforma y trabajarla. Tienen hasta el viernes hoy en la medianoche para... Eh, viernes hoy en la medianoche. Uh, para terminar sección 1 y 2. Okay? And if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you on Monday. Bye. See you, teacher. Yeah, see you on Monday. Bye. I see you on Monday. Bye. Take care. Have a really good weekend. Bye.